Hello and welcome to another tutorial from MV Pictures. My name is Richard and today we are going to be creating a title sequence. Here's an example of what we're going to do. This is using Sony Vegas 9 and this will help you make your videos just that much a little better. Now we're going to go into our Media Generators tab and select Text. We want our default text and obviously we want to get rid of the sample text because we don't want our film to be called a sample text. So I'm going to type in MV and a good we want a good bold font so black oak. If I can find it my eyes are really straining I need glasses. There we go because later we're going to want to give a nice metallic feel to our um, MV and so we're going to go into our placement and just move that up a bit because uh, we're also going to want to be zooming in and out making our text look like it's flying into the scene. Now 10 seconds is far too long that's the default length for the text. 5 seconds is enough because 10 seconds is just far too long for a title sequence I think personally. So we're going to go into effects, draw outline and we want to draw a black outline. You might not see it yet but we will once we add our, our dynamic background. Okay so just put the width up a slight bit. I mean you could do this after you've uh, added your background but I've done this a few times so I just know what to do okay so now we're gonna copy this MV by holding control C to copy and then control V to paste and yes we want to create a rear a new one and just put that underneath and we're gonna change this text to pictures <laughs> MV pictures would you have guessed and obviously we do not want this to be 72 size maybe that and then just get the placement and move it just below the MV like so I mean you don't have to have two, sim uh, two lots of text here you can just have one you know or as many as you can fit okay so now we're gonna go into bump map and we're gonna give a metallic feel to our MV so I'm gonna drag bump map onto our MV and already you can see it has this uh, shiny 3D feel to it. So we're just going to put our bump height up and maybe our ambience up a bit, like so. As you can see, I've put my uh, preview quality on a quarter because uh, my machine is really acting up lately. So it might not look the best until the final render, which is fine. Okay, so now we have our text, and we want our text to be zooming from the off from the screen to be coming into the shot. So we're going to move our keyframe up uh, just a couple of seconds and then just bring our crop bar back to normal size just so it fits in with the pictures. So now if I play that again or maybe just change that. Let's do the same to the pictures as well but we want to scroll right out using a wheel mouse and just make it so it's in the far distance and just zoom that in again using our keyframe and timing it just right with the MV pictures uh, with the MV text sorry so now if I play that again they both zoom in from different points of the screen which is uh, lovely so now we have our text uh, moving how we want to and now we're going to create our dynamic background so we're going to go into noise check textures and puffy clouds everyone loves puffy clouds <laughs> we're going to change this to red the top one and the bottom one to black and just fiddle about with these settings to how you want really it's going to make it a bit bit more black in this and just find a good spot change our offset a bit now using our keyframe again we're going to move the slider all the way to the end and just change our offset X and Y slightly so that is now animated if I press play it's a bit too fast we only want to change our offset a bit bit less than that I think so we just move them a bit closer together and now our background moves a bit more slowly there you go so there we have our moving dynamic background I'm just going to resize that back to five seconds and now we're going to crop this so we're going to go into cookie cutter in the effects tab and the yellow circle yellow glowing portrait sorry 
and we're going to move that into the center there uh, we want our border to be black and we want to feather all the way up now we're going to put our X all the way up so it's a line and we're going to put our size up just so it it's the same width of our text maybe a bit bigger to show up a bit more so now we have a nice vertical line a horizontal line sorry okay now we're going to copy this you might need to add another video track by right clicking on any of the tracks on the side but I've already done this so um, we're going to copy and paste this and put it underneath now it's going to our cookie cutter again and we're going to turn X all the way down and Y all the way up and maybe make that a bit thinner like so I'm going to move this all the way to the right of the screen using our keyframe again to slide the bar across all the way and move it all the way to the left so now uh, it's like a wave like a wave in the ocean in the red in the red death ocean <laughs> so to speak I'm going mental excuse me so now we have a nice cool wave effect in our background excellent so we might want to just fade in the pictures and the MV because uh, at the very beginning the uh, pictures is visible we want that just to fade in okay so now we're gonna add a lens flare if you wish you don't have to I'm gonna do this anyway and we're gonna drag that onto our uh, horizontal tab and move that across and again keyframing all the way across and then I'm just going to move this lens flare all the way to the left as far as it will go like so so now we have a nice cool lens flare effect in the background as well simple and that's about it that's like what 10 minutes and you uh, have a nice title of, uh, screen to uh, introduce your videos or your logo or whatever you like very effective this is why I love Sony Vegas 9 you know 10 minutes and you've just created something really awesome <laughs> so let's put that onto the fall just to get a nice look at that lovely so I'm gonna render this I'm gonna try and play it on fall and my computer just refuses to so yeah let's just render this now so render I already have a setting for YouTube HD I'm just going to type one there and let's render this. Now, in my original, I used um, Video Copilot, a sound designer effects package. And, you know, a lot of people use Video Copilot stuff these days, and for good reason, because it's quick, effective, stops me having to look around the net for hours searching for free sound effects. So, now let's take a look at our finished render. Lovely, jubbly is all I can say quick easy effective title screens Sony Vegas is such an awesome non-linear video editing program it's just so easy to use and so create such great things so anyway thank you for watching this uh, tutorial sorry it went on a bit long but you know oh well <laughs> and this is Richard signing out from MV Pictures see you later